Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Car Mechanics Simulator. What is this? What's going on? Well, it was on my wish list and it was on sale, which is kind of funny. It was after the holiday sale um, and it was on lower than when it was in the holiday sale, so which is kind of funny. So anyways, I, I decided to get it. Um, it came with all the expansions and yeah, so let's see what this game's all about. What attracted me to this game was the fact of how, how detailed it got. Um, I've seen very a few videos and just from reading what the game's about, it just seems like something that's you know, too fun to pass up. So yeah, so let's do this together, let's do this basic tutorial together and you know, just to give you an idea what the game is about and maybe we'll have the whole series on this, maybe we won't, I don't know. Maybe it'll be something I'll play once in a while and you upload it onto the channel or not. So I hope the sound settings are set correctly. Um, I tried to play with them a little bit, but yeah, let's kind of get on with this and see what this is all about. So in this short tutorial, we will show you the basic mechanics of the game and show you how to sort out your first few jobs. Okay, so looks like we can move with the mouse. Do you hear that phone ringing? It could be a new customer. I go to the desk and pick up the phone to check what needs to be done. This is cool, and your WASD, that's so cool, and we can walk around our shop here. I wonder if you can upgrade this shop, you make it you make it bigger, the paint shop. This is cool, and the music is funky. Um, do I just, I just left click to use. Orders, in this menu you can view all your waiting orders. Some of them are locked because you need more XP to take them. Here you can take, or if, here you can take, or if you don't like them, pass jobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So here you can take them, or if you don't want them, you can pass them without consequences. New jobs will appear here every time a new customer calls you. Man, <laughs> they need to fix the translation. <laughs> so this one would be change engine oil and filter. Seems pretty easy, huh? Let's do that. Ooh, the music. Ooh. Come on, dance, folks! Dance! These loading screens are atrocious, but yeah, maybe I'll edit those out. But I do want to give you an idea what the game. Ooh, look at this! Look at this! This is a car. Now what do we do? <laughs> Normal mode, assemble body mode, toggle body mode. Uh, okay, so we need to check the engine. So can we open? So let's see. So if we go, oh. Here you go, repair order. Cool. Here you can see details of your order. If you don't like the job or cannot perform all the tasks, you can always end the job. You'll get a refund for the tasks you've already done, but you'll miss the bonus for finishing the job. In future, the orders will be more demanding and you'll have to locate broken parts yourself instead of having them written on the list. Please note, the minimum part condition bar on the right shows you the minimum part condition required to, f to fulfill each order. That's interesting, hey? So I wonder if there's, uh... Yeah, man. This worries me. Because <laughs> I'm no mechanic. <laughs> oh, man. So change oil, drain the old and refill with new. Oh, there's a phone call. What the heck, folks? Um, how, do we, how do you drain the oil, though? I'm clicking on that. Um... I want to finish job. How about oh no escape? Okay. So what we can move vehicle? Uh, always keep your workplace clean and organized. Repairs requiring access to wheels and suspension will only be possible on the lifter. Others can be done elsewhere. To take a new job, you'll need to clear some space in the middle of your workshop so the client can leave their car there. So I have two lifters. Uh, test path paint shop parking. So, so let's do the right lifter. We need that to go up. Phone call. What's going on, folks? Repair all running gear faults. General engine control and repair. Can we just like decline these? Okay. Let's just deal with this guy. Um, can we lift this? Really? I 
Engine power has failed. Huh. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. I just want to do this one. Trying to figure the game out. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, screw off. Um, ah, here we go. Here we go. This is how we control this. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm going to lift it up, assuming that I need to get underneath to drain the oil. Um, suspension. Uh, exhaust. Huh. Okay. Um, so do I not need to go under here? Because usually what you would do is see, see that little screw right here on the engine? Uh, oh, there you go, there you go. Parts disassembly. It's more you can unmount parts from the car. Each part can be accessed from a particular section of the car. So if you're looking in the wrong place, you won't be able to unmount the part. Well, he's checking the part is accessible, but moving the cursor over it. If a part is blocked by another part, it will glow red when you try to unmount it. Ah, here we go. So, oil drain plug. I'm going to right click. Woo! Okay. Oh no, I want to assemble it. Look at part is left click. Huh. Uh, what else do we have to do? Open repair order. Change old, drain old, and refill with new. And then we need a new oil filter. Okay. So we can disassemble this part. Okay, and um, inventory. So how do we get a new filter? Let's go. Oil filter. I need new parts. Um, change oil, drain oil, refill with new. Oil filter 14. So accessible from engine bay. Is that what that says? Is this not an engine bay? Okay, huh. Oh, no, oh, I clicked. Um, how do I get out of this? Oh, maybe two to assemble mode? In this mode, you can mount parts to place it. Transparent parts so it will appear when the part can be mounted. But I need a new filter. Where do we get new f filters? Um, do I go to the computer to order f parts? Uh, ah! Car parts shop. This is cool. Uh, okay, so let's go oil, oil filter. We need 14. Uh, yes. And do we need to get oil as well? Like new oil, oil pan. No, looks like we don't have to worry about the oil pan stuff. But man, this is amazing. Okay, you can probably close that. Um, bank loan, wheel shop. Okay, let's check this. So we can decline this, decline that. Put in new timing parts. Let's let's take that job. And this loading screen, we gotta add it out. <laughs> oh man, the music is good. I like the music. It's pretty modern, trendy. Gets a it's a good beat. Uh, we want to take this one, right? Well, that's another car, actually. Um, I'll, I'll wait for that one. Okay, so this is uh, needs timing, right? Um, can I can I do this? Uh, engine uh, suspension. The phone just keeps going like crazy, eh? Um, Timing parts. Where I wish I knew what I was looking for. <laughs> so um, assemble body mode, and let's. Uh, I want to put the part back on. <laughs> um, 
There we go. Okay. Um, let's get back to this guy. So I need to put new oil in there. How do I do that? Can I do I do I lower this guy? Oh no, we need to do filter in there first. Okay, so let's get to that. Let's go assemble body mode. Um, action normal mode. Let's go. Let's left click. Okay. Now I'm going to go into assemble mode. I'm going to right click and hold. I'm going to pick the new oil filter. Right. Then we can go um, three. Oh, oh, exa part done. In this mode, you can check if the part is broken or not. You can also use purchase tool to do this. Remember that not all the parts can Chan be checked this way. Most of them will require use of an OBD scanner or driving the car through the test track or diagnostic path. There's info on how to diagnose each part below the part's name. Can be examined by taking off the car. Yeah, yeah, well, we know that. So, uh, okay, I see, I see. So, how do we add uh, more oil? Let's, let's bring the car down. We'll move this car to, well, that's a different issue. It's a timing issue. Okay, so let us now, I need to get at this. Oh, there we go, I just left click. Okay, um, engine. Do I left click on the engine? And left click to oil. Okay, but I don't want to disassemble. Can I go examine? Ah, here it goes, here we go. Let's go uh, on disassemble mode. Let's get this out of the way. Ah. Okay. And then oil. How much oil do we put in, man? Oh, okay, maybe that's how you know. <laughs> Usually you use the dipstick and check it, right? Okay, and then assemble mode. This is uh, two. Okay, well, I think that about covers that. So if we go open repair order, looks like we completed this job. Okay, and so let's pop out. We can close that. Okay, now let's uh, oop, go O. I go O, and go finish off. Bang! That one's done. Now we got this guy with the timing. Hmm. Okay, what do we do with the timing? How do we fix that? Look in here again. Air intake. Um, let's see here. Exhaust, starter, engine block, radiator. Oh, ooh, here we go. This thing right here. Serpentine belt. Oh, you can actually. Okay, cool. It's a different camera move, but let's go O for repair orders. We need a belt tensioner, timing belt, water pump. Belt tensioner, timing belt, and water pump. Okay. Uh, let's look at our check out our parts. Tensioner. How you spell tensioner? Like that. Belt tensioner. Need to buy one of those. Oh man, my memory. My memory is terrible. Um, okay, let's go over this guy. Oh, timing belt and water pump. Water pump 14. Timing belts. This is cool timing belt. Uh, which one? <laughs> oh man, let's check the car. Let's check the car. Uh, timing belt. What kind of timing belt do we need? Serpentine belt B. A serpentine belt A. What's this part? It doesn't say what this part is. It just shows me the picture. Um. Can we go exa examine mode? Oh, right here, there's this one. Water pump, belt tensioner. Looks like there's two, like there's two belts. Looks like there's serpentine belt A and B. Examine condition. 
Yeah, exactly, but taken off the car. Uh, okay, I see. So, we got these belts here. Come on, I want to examine that belt. So these are yellow, so I need serpentine belt A and B and a water pump. Okay. Serpentine belt A and B. Okay, serpentine belt A and B. Ah! Oh man, folks, my memory's just shot. Um, water pump, belt tensioner, water pump, and serpentine belt A and B. Okay. Serpentine belt, serpentine belt, serpentine belt, serpentine belt A and B. I think it's just this one, A, B, all right? And then we need a uh, water pump. Yeah, this one. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this bad boy car here. Let's go back into this mode. Now let's, can we take this off? Uh, disassemble part, oh, let's, let's take off the, the serpentine belt. What? Why can't I take it off? Oh, maybe this one first? Oh, okay, maybe this one? Huh, <laughs> cool, cool. I'm right clicking to disassemble. Oh, okay, left click now. Okay, okay. So now I can right click on this. And I can right click on this. And I can. Left click on these screws, and then out comes the part. Okay, so now, <laughs> now we can go into assemble mode, and I want to assemble a new water pump. Okay, we want to put this one in place. Perfect. Okay, water pump done. Now we need serpentine belt B. This is actually pretty good, but we're going to replace it anyways. Okay, and then we need serpentine belt. We need also belt tensioner. This one. Screw that bad boy in. Okay, let's do serpentine belt A now. Okay, and I think that will do the work order. No, and t oh, timing belt. Oh, shoot, where the hell is the timing belt? Um... Oh shoot! Let's see here, just kind of gearbox, alternator, serpentine belt A, serpentine belt B. Oh man, where's the timing belt? Unless, um. Oh, I thought I would have replaced that because of the serpentines, right? But there must be a different spot for a timing belt. Front sway bar, brake servo. Um, I'm just kind of taking a quick peek. Oil pan. Team belt. So I don't really have timing belts, right? Let's take a quick peek here. Timing belts. There's this stuff. Uh, where does this go? Timing belt cover. Ah, there's a cover. Bet you have to dismantle all the stuff. So if we go into normal mode, and we go into examine mode. Ah, here we go. So, how do I take this off? Okay, um, so 
So we could go disassemble mode. So we need to take this stuff all off again. Let's do that. Okay, let's do this bad boy. We need to take this apart again. Okay, we need to take this stuff off. Take that. We need to take the water pump off. Let's take the crankshaft off. Because that is not need to be there. Okay, uh, we need to take this idle roller. <laughs> wow. There we go. Now we can get this open. Let's get this open. Man, this is amazing. I hope you're having a good time. You listen to music. Watch me unscrew the stuff. And we got the, ta the timing belt. So let's go into examine mode so we can examine it. It's obviously red. <laughs> so we're going to go disassemble mode. So this is where you'd have to take it apart, look at stuff based on what people will tell you. Okay. So now we can go assemble mode. Now we can put a new timing bell on here. Ah, uh, we don't have one. We need to buy one. I thought I did. Uh, I bought the wrong one. Should have bought this one. That's okay. Go inventory. We can actually. I think we can sell these things. Get rid of these belts. We don't need to. Um, oh, I hope I don't sell parts I need. Haha. <laughs> can sell that bad boy. No, we don't need this one. Okay. I think we got all the parts now. Let's go back into this. Okay, let's go into assemble mode. Let's put a timing belt in place. Bang. Let's put the belt, the, the cover on it. Screw these in. You kind of have to keep the mouse over it. Okay, and now I can put the crankshaft. I can put the roller back in there. Okay, we can put this uh, the crankshaft pulley in there. Perfect. You can kind of see the parts are worn, which is kind of cool. Put the water pump in place. Okay, and then I think we can do the belts. At least I'm going to learn a lot about cars. <laughs> it makes me want to take apart my car and fix it. <laughs> uh. That's funny. Let's see here. Bang. Okay, and I think that will complete this one. Yes, look at that. Okay, so this will go, we go like this. Oops, we hit O, and we go finish job. Bang. Um, let's take a look here. We don't want this one, and we don't want this one. Put in new timing parts. We can take that one. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so basically what I figured to do with this series, since we're coming up to the end here, uh, you'll find to fix any running gear problem. Oh, well, it's, uh, so this guy, um, okay. So this we can do right here as well. So let's, let's move this into a bay. Uh, let's go, let's just left lifter. Okay, let's see what else we can pick up. Find things any running gear problems. We'll take that, John. Man, this is frustrating. So, the fact that it cuts to the loading page because it's loading in the new asset into the shop here, that's kind of tricky. But yeah, but this is what Car Mechanics Simulator 2015 is all about. You know, so hopefully you've enjoyed yourself here. You know, hopefully you've enjoyed me repairing cars and whatnot. And we'll basically tackle on the next one here. So thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.